As we head into the winter months across the northern hemisphere, tropical season is coming to an end. In fact, in Okinawa and also in the Atlantic, the official end of tropical season is on November 30th. And a few people have asked me why? The reality is you still can get tropical systems in the months of December, January and February, but it is rather rare. And there's a few reasons for that. First, you have your sea surface temperatures plus vertical wind shear and lastly, dry air aloft. These are the three main factors as to why we don't see tropical systems typically in those winter months. Now, first, you do have to realize tropical systems, typhoons and hurricanes alike are heat engines. Basically, you have to have that fuel to be put into the system and all the moving parts have to be working together in unison. One of the most important parts to that is the sea surface temperatures. You have to remember that the ocean water is basically like fuel for the storm systems. The warmer it is, the higher the octane is, the more energy that can be put in. With the magic number being 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything lower than that, these systems really cannot uh, gather enough energy to develop up and form into a hurricane or a typhoon. And naturally, when we get into those colder months, the sea surface temperatures do tend to drop. Another thing we talk about is the winds aloft. Now, this is one of the main factors. And we pull back the picture. I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. Wind shear is the change of wind speed and height as well as the direction. And as we head into the winter months, the jet stream dips towards the south. The northeast monsoon picks up in the Pacific. And these factors cause the winds at the surface to be much different than the winds in the higher levels of the atmosphere. Thus, that engine, that perfect flow from the bottom of the atmosphere up to the top that typically goes with hurricanes and typhoons just doesn't work. And lastly, that dry air in the winter months. This creates evaporation, which cools temperatures in the upper atmosphere, but also, of course, decreases cloud cover. So when as meteorologists, we say that the tropical season is coming to an end, these are some of the main factors that we look at. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.